how about I give you this and I, I take only one, it's fine. And what should I give you back? Only one of this. What about change? No, 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 the rest is gift. Are you sure? Yes. Hello guys, welcome to yet another vlog. My name is Carl Grunefeld and this is London. So I'm basically here for the Grand Prix in Silverstone, which is close to London. And I am now in London to check out the city and then we go to Silverstone. So you are joining this journey. Leave a thumbs up right now and keep watching. Okay guys, so we are walking around here in this beautiful, incredibly classy neighborhood and this is proper. You need a proper Rolls Royce extended wheelbase, which means that it's way longer than the normal Rolls Royce Phantom. Look at that. If you're rolling around in London in this beautiful neighborhood, I think they call it Belgravia, then this is what you need. A extended wheelbase Rolls Royce Phantom with a driver which I'm sure the owner has and actually I've been thinking about getting one myself to be perfectly honest I do have in my back right now but I was thinking the next upgrade I do maybe later this year or next year is going to be a phantom extended wheelbase because this is the next level look at the the room you have here it's crazy it's like a it's like a living room back here and black of course it's black it should be black I love it and these uh, buildings are incredible. I know for a fact that these buildings are very expensive. I have a friend who lives uh, close by and let's say he's uh, paying a lot for that. On this street, which is very, very famous because Elton John lived here, Margaret Thatcher lived here, uh, and I'm sure cool people are living here right now as well. You have a Bentley, very, very beautiful. Uh, what is it, Range Rover. This is also a British car. Um, Jaguar, Lamborghini, Huracan, Spider. Very cool. Obviously, I, I'm from Dubai, so this is not shocking at all for me. It's like it's like a normal Volvo or Fiat or like a Hyundai to me. <laughs> right, Phil? <laughs> I would be okay with that Lambo, definitely. It's a very But nice it doesn't car. stick out of the mess. That's that's true. In in Dubai, it's literally every fourth car or something. Yeah, it's a Volvo. Yeah, it's yeah. a Volvo. It's like super standard. Right now I am by the Buckingham Palace where the Queen supposedly lives. To explain more about that, I found where I brought to you a proper UK person. Come, come, come. This is Rianne. She's from the UK. <laughs> Tell us more. What is this? Uh, this is Buckingham Palace. It's very beautiful. But no, unfortunately, the Queen doesn't live here. No? No. Well, she I thought actually... you said the Queen lives here. No, she does come here sometimes. Yeah. Did you see the guys outside? The, the guys outside. beef eaters. The beef eaters? Yes. Who are those? Come, come on. I want to see the beef eaters. <laughs> so you call them uh, wife beaters? What did you say? <laughs> now he's walking over. Oh, he's going to move. Maybe his legs are getting tired. He needs to re rack <laughs> have a little walk around. So guys, I actually have personal security with me right now. He doesn't look like that though. <laughs> but actually when I'm in Europe, I always have bodyguard. It's very important. Safety first. All right guys, now we're at a very crazy place. This is the Red Bull Formula One factory workshop or whatever you call it in English. I don't know, but basically this is where they manufacture and fix the cars. Uh, and it's also their headquarters, I believe. So I actually saw an Aston Martin over there. I believe that might be Horner's car himself the one and only I already got a Red Bull obviously in my hand let's go straight in ah <laughs> the other automatic one yeah. listen to the best sound in the world Whoa. <laughs> all right guys right now we are in the Red Bull headquarters and here you have all of the different Red Bull cars throughout history and then obviously the latest car which is this year's car one cool thing is that christian horner who is the um, head of the red bull racing he was the youngest to ever become the head of one of these uh, teams at 31 years old and he actually from what i understood he holds the record of being the head of a team for the longest time so 18 years already which is crazy the paint is very very secret and actually even in the paint they sometimes put substances that will make it almost impossible for someone to find a part and try to replicate the paint because in the paint are secrets to make it more lightweight more make it more aerodynamic and so on so there are secrets within the paint itself that is protected by random chemicals this is this year's car and it's fun fact they didn't 
fix it. They didn't secure it, so I can steal it. Look at this. No one is watching. <laughs> No one is watching. <laughs> I'm stealing the Red Bull car right now. <laughs> How many seconds until they come with like... Bro, I give you like maybe two more seconds. <laughs> Guys, we're right now inside and we're gonna go take a look inside the factory where they literally manufacture all these parts that go into these uh, cars. However, it's incredibly secret so there will be no cameras allowed not even phones we have to leave everything behind because there are many racing secrets in there it's like a i don't know war between these different teams and no cameras allowed so see you in a bit and, 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 and team ferrari could for example watch the vlog and uh, they get do some watch the vlog advantage everyone a actually they the are watching the vlog literally everyone is <laughs> watching this vlog guys so shh now we've uh, explored the Red Bull uh, factory. We saw many secrets. I'm very, very confident that Red Bull will perform very well this weekend because the secrets were amazing. But now it's raining as it should in uh, Great Britain. So let's jump into the car and go back to London. And look at this guys. We actually got these tickets now. Very, very exclusive tickets to watch the F1. We have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, everything covered. Let's do it. Okay guys, now I'm gonna really go to the moon by jumping in. Wow. wow, that's nice. What is it like to be the moonmobile? It's nice, but first I need the steering wheel. Now I'm ready to go to the moon. You can see the wheels, but there are no wheels. Nothing, you can do anything. No, 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 it's very, very tight. It's crazy, yeah. you'll see there for like more than one hour, all the G forces and everything is crazy. And you know, turn the Moomobile. In the Moomobile, yes. It was nice? Yeah, it's amazing, but thank you very much. Yeah, it's not easy to get out. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, you're you welcome. Know. It's amazing, really. Nice Guys, now I'm leaving the hotel because I'm going to my friend Johnny Dodge's birthday party. Let's go. Thank you. What kind of secret place is this, man? I don't know. It's Johnny Dodge. You never know what, what he's up to. I, <laughs> I can, know. I can see. We'll, we'll find out. Hey, That's Johnny, a little bit fatter with Richard, Richard Branson. Branson nice. Yeah, actually, he just told me he's going to uh, Necker Island with Richard tomorrow. Johnny's a cool kid. He gets to hang out with the other cool kids. Guys, right now we're actually by the London Wheel. It's iconic. Wait, London Eye, I think it's called. It's the London Eye. The London Eye. Um, it's beautiful, it's massive, but actually, Dubai has the world's largest wheel. Not to compare or anything, it's just a fact. But uh, we're not here to go in the wheel, we're here to find a place to drink coffee. Am I right, Phil Jacob? You are so right. Do you think we should take a ride for the vlog? Um, I would, but there's a line and I don't stand in lines. Yeah, guys, he doesn't like lines that much. I have a huge amount of ADHD, so standing in line is not for me, guys. Um, I get all like this and I, I just I can't deal with it. <laughs> That's why I jumped out of school as well. I'm a high school dropout, whatever it's called in English. It's called gymnasium in Swedish. I don't know what's called in It's the, the same in Germany, actually. Yeah? So you know what Gym I'm talking Gymnasium. About? Like high school or something. Yeah. But I dropped out of something, which was school. Um, At which age, actually? 17, maybe. So you think maximum. you 17. think you can still ma you can still make a lot of money without uh, going to school? I am the living proof that you can make money without going to school. I don't want to sound like a douche, but I did quite well. So do you want to encourage people out there to drop school or...? I encourage people to do whatever they feel like is the best thing for them to do. For some people, school may make sense. 
because they just want the security of having a boss telling them what to do so they get their paycheck every month so they can pay the rent. If that's what you're looking for, school is for you. If you're looking for endless amounts of wealth and happiness and uh, success and uh, freedom, more importantly freedom, then the entrepreneurial way is for you and uh, school does not teach you entrepreneurship. I know that for sure because I tried school for many years but I didn't see anything of value that could give me any kind of advice on doing anything remotely close to what I'm doing today. All the crypto stuff, the entrepreneurial stuff, everything I'm doing today, I learned myself with my MacBook and the internet. That's all I needed. A computer and the internet. And a computer you can buy for like, I don't know, maybe a hundred dollars if you buy an old second-hand computer somewhere. So the barrier to entry into entrepreneurship is actually very low. There are many ways you can make money today online without investing a whole lot of money. There are no excuses, guys. If you're saying anything like it's too expensive, I grew up in the wrong neighborhood, or uh, no one is this, or I don't have that, those are excuses, and they're gonna keep you from your dream. No more excuses. Get the f up there and do something. Mindset is everything also, by the way. Mindset. Believe that you can do it. Believe in yourself, and people will start believing in you. So, you, from within, that's the first step. So now we ended up making a complete motivational speech, or...? Exactly. <laughs> uh, that was not planned, actually, but... Uh, but sometimes <laughs> these, uh, these uh, nuggets of wisdom should come out because I think it's important that people understand where I come exactly. from and what I'm doing and I'm sure you guys think it's interesting. However, the reason why we're here is this. Wow. Oh. And again, I didn't go to school, so I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what this is, but I know that's Big Ben. I'm very good at making money, but I'm not so good at knowing where royals are or parliaments are <laughs> but do i need to know that phil jacob do you, you think you, it's important? you don't need to know that let's just say this is a very important building bro what is this building house of parliament i think i said that a few yeah ago. you said that okay thanks bro it's the house of parliament and it looks very tartarian huh? actually and big ben yes okay big ben and house of parliament Two very Tartarian buildings, right? Exactly. We can clearly see that the architecture is absolutely incredible. Clearly, very, very special technology and tools have made this effect. It's just absolutely amazing. It looks unreal. It looks absolutely crazy, yes. This can't be made by like human beings. Are, are you suggesting or maybe more made advanced it? human beings exactly elevated human beings another question where's your f***ing yacht actually <laughs> that's a great question guys you should take I, your yacht to london <laughs> yes and my bugatti is in dubai i'm only half the man that i am with my toys but no you're not even half the man because you, you don't even have your watch oh yeah that's oh, true like, look guys in london no watch actually there was a guy that I don't know him, but someone knows him that I know that three, four days ago got stabbed in the head for wearing his uh, Patek Philippe, yes. So, um, actually I'm gonna do this now because I don't, I want people to know that I'm not wearing my watch. Wow. He's like, he's like, he's like enjoying the moment like crazy. <laughs> this is very tasty. How much? Three pounds, please. I think we should get some. The problem is you don't carry any fiat money with oh, you. Oh, do you take Amex? <laughs> Pro probably not. Do you take Bitcoin? No, not today. Maybe <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. The problem is then we have an issue because I can't pay. You can make a shout out for the vlog. What about um, money from Azerbaijan? <laughs> oh. What is that? What about this? Actually, I'm disappointed that you carry fiat money. Well, of in Azerbaijan, I needed something. You know? I don't know. Whatever you think is three pounds, give me three pounds on that money. And <laughs> but maybe that is worth okay, like 50 bucks. How much is this? I don't uh, know, I said. Okay, let me check. We, we me don't check. know as well, actually. I'm gonna oh. check. That's a... Manat. Look. It's half, which means that if I give you 50, that's 24 pounds. How about I give you this and I, I take only one, it's fine. Uh, it's 24. Even in Forex, even if you go to the exchange... Oh, okay. 
yeah. It's deal. It's deal, yes? It's deal. It's 24 pounds. Okay. okay. Whatever you say. Yes, thank you, bro. I put here. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, this is 24 pounds. Okay. I take only one, yes? Caramelized peanuts. Do you trust me? I'm not gonna die for three pounds. It's uh, 24 pounds actually. What should I give you back? Only one of this. What about change? No, no, no. The rest is a uh, gift. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. I need to get rid of it anyways. Let's have this. Ah, you say that. No, 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 no. It's fine. Have it's fine. Day, bro. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. What if I try to put it, I throw it in your mouth? Bro, you won't make this. I won't make this. Just try with one. One. But, okay. Mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Skills there, <laughs> Phil Jacob. Okay, look at me. Oh, yeah. Okay guys, we just got some ice latte. Great taste. And actually, my assistant Rianne is coming now. She's gonna join us for a coffee. We're gonna sit down in the park here. And um, it's a beautiful day. Rianne! Hey! How are you? I'm amazing, how are you? Good, it's nice. been ages since I've seen you. Yes, Ooh. since two days ago. I know. <laughs> that looks cozy. This is actually how you should do it when you're in Europe. This is also very Swedish, by the way, like sitting down in the park, chilling during summer, drinking coffee. This is nice. And I have my dream team with me. That's the most important thing. Woo. Phil Jacob and Rianne Pen Pendleton. 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 What you can do right now is give a shout out to the bag. Oh, yeah. Explain how amazing it is. <laughs> I know how amazing Oh, it is. that's a nice bag, actually. Yeah, I love my What's bag. the story behind this bag? Well, I was really lucky to get it from my boss. <laughs> So <laughs> it really sounds very strange. When you say it like that, it sounds strange. I, what do I say? <laughs> you can say right now, you can point to a corner and tell the audience to watch this video if they haven't seen it yet. Watch this corner? This video here, there's a video that's going to pop up in this corner and then you're going to find out about my bag. This bag, it's super cute. I'm so lucky to get such a nice bag. Nice. Guys, it was a reward because she did an incredible job. <laughs> Yes? Yes. There's no other better way to phrase it because if you phrase it in another way, it's gonna sound very strange, shady, <laughs> or even sexual, which is not. But people always comment a lot like, ah, you're. Really? Yeah, even yesterday on my video, I saw comments. What video? Oh, I haven't looked at he's, it yet. Actually, what people should know is that he's always reading the comments every time Thank every you. single comment every yes. time i see him he's like reading comments honestly no it's actually true every yeah. single comment on this youtube channel i read yeah. on my other channel however i'm getting thousands of comments so i can't read them all but on carl Wunefeld, i get like two three hundred comments per day and i read all of them i actually heart <laughs> almost all of them unless someone is saying that i'm fake and gay or saying something mean like no faking it, yeah. Yeah, I don't need to. Because that, that, that is mean, actually. Rianne, what are you watching right now? <laughs> is that? Watching the new vlog. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Which one? Um, I believe this is the French Riviera vlog. Exactly. Yeah. So where can people watch it? Right here. And in which corner? <laughs> this corner. In this corner. <laughs> no, it's the other corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's your, the other corner. Which corner, Carl? I think it's this corner. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, it's this corner actually. <laughs> He's right. I'm Leave a thumbs up also. Hello. Yeah. Okay. I'll mix. Can we pay American Express? Oh, sorry. Do you also take Azerbaijan? Why not? Azerbaijan is a good country. I know Azerbaijan. Thank you, bro. It's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. He doesn't like. He doesn't like paper. <laughs> Thank you. He put it there. We have it on film, right? Yeah. I did not put it there. This is. But not now my you need to pick it up. It's not my responsibility. He put it there. <laughs> I hate when people do that because I, I I would never do this myself. And he's basically working for the park. Yeah, why is he That's doing insane. this? Why did he do that? Of, of all people here. Look, park tech chairs. Like, why did he do that? I really don't like when people... That was not responsible. No. And now he's leaving me with this. What do you say to that? Well, 
I really think we should save the planet and not litter. <laughs> we Good. should save the planet. We don't have to save the planet, but let's just at least take care of the park. Yeah. Such a hero. <laughs> it doesn't look nice. It should look clean and beautiful. I think. Okay, let's go now to Covent Garden. Jump in. <laughs> How's it going? So Long sorry for the see, so sorry for the poor comment Hi. by the way on the phone. You had loudspeaker. Bro, right? we already had so <laughs> many comments. Bro. Oh this God. is Alex, <laughs> legend. Hey. Hey. We're in Camden, the capital of rock and roll music. And since nice. Carl and I both like alternative rock and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you had the uh, Queen and Rolling Stones. These guys were here, no? The Beatles. The Beatles. Everyone, man. Coldplay as well. Yeah. So it's everyone very... from old school. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's very rocky here. <laughs> Those people do not exist in Sweden. You, you can't find them because they actually don't exist. They don't exist. No. <laughs> it's only in Camden, I guess. Yeah, but I like sure. it. There's very many, very, very unique people here. Is it safe here? Yeah, totally, man. It's all hippies. I mean, sometimes you may, may think, oh, they look a little dodgy, or, <laughs> but they're really like... Yeah. They're nice. Yeah, they're just in their own little culture, right? Subculture. Yeah. Okay guys, now we're gonna do the most UK thing you can do. We're grabbing a pint with some friends. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. 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 Yay. 0.0. Still no alcohol guys, since five years now. Woo! Bro! Regular, regular. Go Carl! Go Carl! It's pretty good, but not in the middle. That's proper darts. Proper. So he wanted to play darts the whole day. Now we have it. Yeah, it's very nice actually. Darts are fun. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. Okay. Pretty okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching this incredible vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and like and press the notification bell if you want more incredible vlogs in the future. And if you have never seen this video, make sure to click it right now and I'll see you guys over there. Bye-bye.